Looks like they heard us because OpenAI has launched a new product. It's called Search GPT. Google's reign as the undisputed king of search might be coming to an end. OpenAI has unleashed Search GPT, a groundbreaking AI-powered search engine that's poised to revolutionize how we find and consume information online. This isn't just another incremental update. It's a fundamental shift that could reshape the entire digital landscape. Let's dive into what Search GPT means for you, the future of the internet, and why this development has sent shockwaves through Silicon Valley. The dawn of intelligent search. Remember when search engines were just glorified indexes? Type in a query, get a list of links, and hope for the best. Search GPT is about to make that feel as outdated as dial-up internet. OpenAI's new creation doesn't just find information, it understands it. Imagine asking about music festivals in Boone, North Carolina in August 2024. Instead of dumping a pile of links in your lap, Search GPT serves up a concise summary of relevant events, complete with descriptions and direct source links. It's like having a knowledgeable assistant do the heavy lifting for you. This leap forward comes from combining OpenAI's powerful language models with real-time web data. The result is a search experience that feels more like a conversation than a robotic lookup. It's faster, more intuitive, and arguably more useful than traditional search engines. But Search GPT's intelligence goes beyond just summarizing. It can generate custom visuals, analyze complex topics, and even help with task planning, all within the search interface. This versatility threatens to make the classic 10 blue links format feel painfully limited by comparison. The publisher paradox. AI-powered search isn't entirely new. Google has been experimenting with AI-generated overviews, and smaller players like Perplexity have entered the fray. But these efforts have hit a major snag, pushback from content creators. Publishers have a valid concern. If AI search engines can summarize their content so well that users never click through to the original source, what happens to web traffic? And without that traffic, how do content creators survive in an ad-driven ecosystem? OpenAI seems to have learned from others' mistakes. They're taking a collaborative approach, partnering directly with major publishers like The Wall Street Journal and The Atlantic. This gives publishers more control over how their content is used and ensures proper attribution. Search GPT's interface prominently displays inline citations and clear links to source material. This transparency benefits users who want to dig deeper while also directing valuable traffic back to the original publishers. It's a delicate balancing act, but one that could create a more sustainable model for AI-enhanced search. The $5 billion question. While search GPT's potential is immense, it comes with an equally staggering price tag. Internal projections suggest OpenAI could lose up to $5 billion this year alone, a number that would make even the most deep-pocketed tech giants flinch. Why such astronomical costs? Developing and maintaining cutting-edge AI models requires immense computing power. We're talking about data centers filled with specialized hardware, running complex calculations around the clock. Add to that OpenAI's aggressive hiring spree, they've doubled their workforce in just a year, and you've got a recipe for massive cash burn. This financial strain raises some uncomfortable questions. Can OpenAI sustain this level of investment long enough for Search GPT to become profitable? The company's current revenue from ChatGPT, estimated between $100 to $200 million annually, is a drop in the bucket compared to their expenses. Microsoft's backing provides a lifeline, but for how long? The tech giant's willingness to subsidize OpenAI's losses speaks volumes about the perceived value of this technology. But even the deepest pockets have limits. This isn't just about OpenAI's balance sheet. The eye-watering costs of developing advanced AI could create a walled garden effect where only the largest tech companies can afford to compete. This consolidation of AI power in the hands of a few raises important questions about innovation, competition, and the future of the internet itself. David versus Goliath, the search engine showdown. Google has dominated search for so long that to Google became a verb but Search GPT represents the most serious threat to that dominance in years. The announcement alone caused Alphabet's stock to dip 3.6% in after-hours trading, a clear sign that investors are taking this challenge seriously. It's not just about better search results. 
Search GPT has the potential to change how we interact with information entirely. The conversational interface, the ability to generate custom content, and the seamless blending of multiple sources could make traditional search feel clunky and outdated. Google isn't standing still, of course. They've been integrating more AI features into their own search engine. But there's a key difference. Google is trying to enhance an existing product, while OpenAI is reimagining search from the ground up. This David versus Goliath battle is further complicated by the ongoing antitrust lawsuit against Google. The U.S. Department of Justice accuses the company of monopolizing the search industry. This legal pressure could limit Google's ability to respond aggressively to new competitors, potentially giving Search GPT more room to grow. The implications extend far beyond which company comes out on top. This competition could drive rapid innovation in how we access and interact with information online. Users stand to benefit from more intelligent, personalized, and efficient search experiences. From prototype to game changer. Right now, Search GPT is in a limited prototype phase. Only about 10,000 test users have access, allowing OpenAI to gather feedback and refine the system before a wider rollout. This cautious approach makes sense given the potential impact of the technology. OpenAI is using a combination of direct content feeds and third-party partners to build its search index. This differs from traditional web crawling methods and could lead to a more curated, but potentially less comprehensive, search experience. The company has hinted at some intriguing features still in development. Visual answers, potentially including AI-generated images and videos, could make search results more engaging and easier to understand for complex topics. Improved local information and e-commerce integration are also on the roadmap. As Search GPT evolves, we're likely to see it become more tightly integrated with OpenAI's other products. Imagine the power of ChatGPT combined with real-time search-enhanced knowledge. The lines between different types of AI assistance could begin to blur, creating more versatile and capable digital helpers. The ethics of AI-powered search. With great power comes great responsibility, and Search GPT raises some thorny ethical questions. How do we ensure the AI doesn't amplify misinformation or biased viewpoints? What safeguards are in place to protect user privacy when the search engine potentially understands the context and intent behind queries? OpenAI has been vocal about its commitment to responsible AI development, but the real-world application of these principles will be crucial. Transparency in how search results are generated and ranked will be essential to maintain user trust. There's also the question of data ownership and algorithmic accountability. If Search GPT becomes a primary gateway to information, who ultimately controls what users see and why? The potential for AI to shape public opinion and access to knowledge is both exciting and concerning. These ethical considerations aren't just academic. They could shape regulations and public perception, potentially making or breaking Search GPT's widespread adoption. The ripple effect. Search GPT's impact will likely extend far beyond the search box. Here are some potential ripple effects to consider. 1. Content creation. As AI gets better at summarizing and synthesizing information, content creators may need to adapt. We could see a shift towards more in-depth original reporting and analysis that AIs can't easily replicate. 2. Digital advertising. If users spend less time clicking through to individual websites, the entire digital advertising ecosystem could be disrupted. This might accelerate the move towards alternative monetization strategies for online content. 3. Education and research. More intelligent search tools could revolutionize how students and researchers gather information, potentially making knowledge more accessible, but also raising questions about critical thinking skills. 4. Job market. As AI takes on more complex information gathering tasks, certain jobs may be at risk. However, new roles focused on AI-human collaboration and oversight are likely to emerge. Five, digital literacy. Users will need to develop new skills to effectively leverage AI-powered search tools and critically evaluate the information they receive. The road ahead, Search GPT is still in its early stages and its full impact remains to be seen. Will it truly dethrone Google or will it carve out a niche as a complementary tool? Can OpenAI find a sustainable business model to support its ambitious vision? 
What's clear is that the way we interact with information online is evolving rapidly. Search GPT represents a significant leap forward, but it's likely just the beginning of a new era in AI-enhanced search and knowledge discovery. As users, we stand to benefit from more intelligent, efficient, and personalized ways to access information. But we'll also need to stay vigilant about the potential downsides and ethical concerns that come with increasingly powerful AI systems. The search revolution is here. Are you ready for it? If you have made it this far, let us know what you think in the comment section below. For more interesting topics, make sure you watch the recommended video that you see on the screen right now. Thanks for watching.